excited to be here today to launch the summer ferry schedule, which comes into, to, into effect on April the 24th. Um, the government has invested $3.2 million in uh, ferry services and uh, vessels. Um, and we're delighted in that we're preparing to ensure that the America's Cup runs well and the regular commuter services are enhanced for the convenience of all of Bermuda. As you know, um, this has been a arduous process. We have had, thanks to the Marine and Ports team, a team of um, engineers, marine engineers, uh, working diligently to fix, maintain our ferries, and with this additional investment, they've done a certain job, and our ferries are up to scratch. As you know, historically, we've had five ferries running at one time. But with the overtime, with the hard work, with the commitment of the team at Marine and Ports, we have 10 ferries running. So again, I would like to commend them for their hard work, for their contributions. As you know, we expect to have almost 2,500 people going to the America's Cup on a regular weekend. So we'll have two or three ferries in the morning, two or three ferries in the evening as of May. Um, we have dedicated seven or eight ferries to the America's Cup and our regular commuter route will have three and possibly four. So again, convenience for locals as well as those attending America's Cup. If I might add here, as far as America's Cup is concerned, we would recommend and encourage Bermudians to use the public ferries because it's going to be easier to get to Dockyard and it will be easier and more convenient for them as well as for us as the host country for the America's Cup. You will note that we've spent $2.5 million in upgrading these ferries. The balance, 700,000, is also being invested in our tugs. So again, we're getting the fleet up to scratch so that we can have a first class public service um, ferry system for the people of Bermuda and our guests when it comes to America's Cup. You will note that after America's Cup is finished, we'll have an enhanced ferry fleet that will be for the benefit of all the Bermuda. So we're not just doing this for the America's Cup, we're doing it for all the Bermudians, and we're also doing it for those working in the ferry services, because we need to give them support, and by making this investment, you can be sure that they're getting the support from this government. Um, so uh, those are my brief comments. If you have any other questions, I'm available. Yes, we've hired a number of people, um, because I remember cabinet paper, I think we've hired an additional 15 people in Marina Ports to address the ferry schedule, to address the maintenance, um, to be here at the ferry terminal, as well as on the vessels and in Dockyard. And does the additional fleet include the Millennium Ferry? Does it? Yes. No. no? Yes. running at once. Um, as I said, I'm commending the staff at Marina Ports for a sterling job. Um, they went beyond the call of duty to get an additional five more ferries up and running. And they will be, have a regular maintenance program, I've been assured. And as a consequence, Bermudians will be able to enjoy our ferries whether they're going to St. George's, Somerset, Warwick, or to the America's Cup. The Millennium will be returning uh, for the summer season and this will be her last year. She will not be returning after that. How do you see the NCL ferry runs that have been to introduce affecting the service across the island? Yeah, the, the use of the NCL tenders are really for the NCL.
ATL passengers, and they're shuttling their passengers between Dockyard and St. George's, and that's the use of them. So the Millennium will be doing the St. George's run this summer, and then the following year in 2018, Marine and Post will take on that service. And how many runs during the summer season? It will be the exact same runs that we've been doing all the time. Yeah. No changes in the, in the schedule. Yeah.